Alright, so first some elevations. As you can see, this is the front front elevation of the house. It's a two-story house. On this side over here, this is a guest uh, attachment. Then here is the main entrance. Uh, window, balcony, uh, garage doors, uh, window for garage, and I guess some landscaping on the side. Then side view, so there's a glass area for the waterfall. I'll get to the waterfall because that's an indoor thing. And basically just some structural supports here and more landscaping. Side view again, so this is on the, if you look at the the front view and on the right side wall that's that's the side view we're looking at right now basically a uh, lot of a lot of different designs in the wall uh, lighting as well as um, we know it's environmentally friendly because we have uh, some grass and plants on the top of the ceiling and back so you can see so outdoor living room in this area here there's a special door which I'm going to explain to you that basically has it just allows you to go out from your living room and straight to your pool area and also your yard also there's a balcony here that's leading out from the master suite and more glass from the main dining room area in the house so that takes care of the side views some unique features like a lot of landscapes a lot of jacuzzi swimming pools um, a very modern design and indoor so here's the indoor design it's pretty intricate so let me go and explain what's happening so initially you have your garage here you can fit two cars main like I guess tool construction area for work and basically if you move up it's gonna lead to the laundry room or mud room basically you can do your laundry there and if you get up from your car from work you can go through here and it'll just be easy access to and from uh, the garage to the house or you can go through your front front entrance and you have a nice pathway here water fountain a lot of different trees so maybe a little recreation area here and then here's like the main entrance to get to your house this is the main foyer right here so you're gonna have a lot of uh, I guess nice in interior design along the walls, a lot of columns. Uh, you're going to have a main bathroom right away at the entrance. No, you never know, you might need to go right away, so it's always good to have one in the front of the house. And then like a mini lounge area, if you ever get tired, or just like a little place to relax. Then, over here, we there's an attachment, which leads to the guest house. So if you have any guests over, guests would go through this door and here would be their little room. They would have a bed, a desk area, and a bathroom. And I believe, yeah, a cooler uh, and a fridge, which also leads to the outdoors. Now, there's a wall over here, of course, exterior wall. And also be out that there's a basement going down this way, I believe. Basement, yes. So basement also goes down this way too in the foyer area. And also a door that opens to the yard inside the in the middle of the house. So what's happening is you could go you could go if you wanted to go outside, you can go this way to get to your nice little patio where you can do barbecue, a sink, well bar barbecues, dance floors or special occasions. There will be a mini jacuzzi here another jacuzzi and this waterfall over here which is also part of the it's also like inside the house as well this waterfall that's happening here is also not only going down to this pond area but is also going underneath this glass floor which is the dining room this whole dining room in blue is the glass floor and basically the waterfall is going underneath so as you are eating you see rocks and water and it's a nice vivid and refreshing environment as you're eating dinner so let's continue onward here stairs which lead to the second floor you get to your kitchen conventional oven of course it has a nice wine sink basically you can put any any cold beverages in this type of sink uh, it has coolers uh, big sink dishwasher 
range, uh, sub-zero fridge of course, a lot of prep room, and ample amount of space to do any type of cooking. Then like I said, the dining room, it's all glass, water is cascading underneath to create that nice refreshing look. Then as we move up, uh, there's a lot of open space here and here. This is all by the way uh, down below, so down below the glass. So as you're walking you see a nice pond, possibly fish in there. In this direction, once you get out of the kitchen and the dining room, you can either go to your office space located here. If you have, let's say, any work to do, you could get work done here. And also, too, we have a secret panic room if something were to happen, such as a robbery or anything like that. So that would happen there. As we move out, larger space just for relaxing or looking out uh, through windows, so library, as well as just, you know, relaxing or studying in an open area. Then if we move along here. There's a bar, a small little bar. You can get some drinks, bathroom, which is very important, of course. And then I guess your main little living room area. So you would have your TV, couches set up, everything, shelves, and this is where everyone would hang out. Also easy access to get out from this living room out to here, which is where, the, like I mentioned before, the jacuzzi, waterfall, and barbecue is located. Also, too, it leads straight outdoors from the living room to go outside. And also here is, like I mentioned, the outdoor living, everything patio related, but with fresh air. Then this pool, of course, and a lot of backyard landscape type things. So that's basically taking care of the whole house. Now as we move along, I will take you to the second floor. So as we move up the stairs, you can go through the hallways and basically we have a mini bonus room which could be like a, another guest room which has a balcony out of the front of the house. Then as we move along this corridor, we enter the first bedroom, so normal bed, desktop computer and it opens up to a bathroom which, has, which two of the bedrooms could use. And then the second bedroom which also the bathroom could use so possibly children's beds then we continue through the corridor we get to the master bedroom master bedroom is it has a walk-in closet an uh, ample amount of space for the bed of course and then a nice large bathroom and a unique feature about this one is is that for the for the ba yeah for the bathroom uh, there's a door that opens from here the walk-in closet you can actually go outside to a balcony and basically sit outside, have flowers, and also leads straight to the backyard with these stairs. So a nice unique feature with the master bed bedroom. And that's the second floor of the house. And now for the basement, you continue down the basement, and you, of course, you know you have pumps and stuff for the waterfall, all the mechanical goods. Then you have another bathroom and very like empty space. Uh, another small little lo lounge area for family or if you have any family over possibly. Wine cellar if you're a collector of wine. Workout room for any of those needs. And just an extra storage room that's unfinished possibly for storage. And same thing as well for here and a more utilities over here. And garage over here. And basically that takes care of Nein.